What's up guys, Titanium Ninja Sandy for here back in another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my set review on 71708, um, the gamer's market from Ninjago Prime Empire. So let's take a look at the box. So here we have the set information. It is 218 pieces and it's recommended ages um, 7 and up. Here we have the mini figures, DGJ, Scott, Avatar Cole, Avatar Nia, Pink Zane finally, um, Okino, Avatar Harumi, Richie, and a red visor. Here we have the set poster, if my phone would like to focus. All right, and then we have the cover of DigiJ, the actual size of Harumi and the rest of the minifigures again. On the side, we have the DigiJ, DigiJ cover again. And then we have the back poster and then the features of the set. So yeah, so let's start off with the minifigures. So for our first minifigure, we've got DigiJ, and here is his weapon, which is his Kisara Gama, connected to a um, video game controller hilt piece. Anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump to his armor pads which are a brand new mold. Um, they are white with um, two swords on each, one sword on each shoulder. And it also comes with a um, uh, health bar, which has three lives. And this is two pieces connected to the armor pads. But the problem with the armor pads are that they are so bulky, but they're because um, you have to connect, the, um, you can connect the, um, the health bar to, to the armor pads. So anyways, here we have his new mask piece, which it's a brand new mold. And so anyways, it's blue with a white bandana um, visor thing. We have the, um, a J in Ninjago language for J's first initial, which is a J. So anyways, um, we have his headpiece, and then I'm going to give him his hair, which is not included in the set. But anyways, his first face is a, has a visor and is like an um, a angry face or a serious face. And here we have his battle ready face with a um, smiley smirk. Anyways, so here we have um, his back printing, which has triangles all over it, has some guitars, and has some, like, what looks to be, like, six um, motion sensors. Anyways, here we have his front torso, which it kind of looks like it has a J with some triangles in the background. Anyways, he has his four mo motion sensors, um, one blue arm with a white um, glove, and a, a white arm with a white glove. Anyways, for his leg piece, he has um, a white bandana, he has some triangles, and he also has his um, two motion sensors, what looks to be a motion sensors, of course. And yeah, so for our next minifigure, we've got one that we've been waiting for for a long time, for like nine, eight, nine years, um, since like 2011 or 2012, because that's when the episode aired. I'm pretty sure it was in 2012 when it aired. But anyways, we've got Pink Zane, which is his Avatar minifigure. So anyways, here we have his mask piece which is a, uh, has a pink color, and also on the back, it has um, a clip to where you can hold a weapon. So anyways, here is his hair piece. It's not included in the set, but we have his angry face and his happy face. And what I wish they did is they add, I wish they added his old 2011 headpiece or at least a new version of it um, to match with the, um, how he was in the actual episode in episode five, or at least since they're going with the new um head pieces, at least put the snake jaguar head piece because it's just face print. Really, it's not Zane at all. It's really not what that's not what Zane is in the um TV show. He's not like this like creepy looking. Yeah. So anyways, here I have his back printing, which is um some sashes and some anyways um anyways on the front we have his sashes continuing with his um icy jaguar um print on the front. We have his pink belt. And he comes with two silver shurikens. So, yeah. So, our next minifigure is Avatar Cole. And his weapons are two pickaxes. So, anyways, put those to the side. And I'm going to go ahead and jump to his mustache. If his head would like to come off. So, anyways, it's just a standard um, mustache piece. Nothing too special. So, anyways, here we have his um, happy face. And then here's his hair, which is included in the set. So, anyways, we have his happy face and his angry face, um, serious face, from the Ninjago movie used since then. And we also have his um, back torso printing, which is checkered, a red checkered shirt. And it is buttoned up on the front. And he also comes with standard black legs. And if th this... I. We all know this is trying to um, represent Rocky Danger Buff, but I what I wish they did instead of using reused pieces, I wish they actually used the um, Rocky Danger. I like, created the Rocky Danger Buff minifigure because we a lot of us want like a Rocky Danger Buff mini. Well, I don't want a Rocky Danger Buff minifigure, and I would like like minifigures from the show that haven't made a, like a minifigure form yet. And I would wish this was just like um, Rocky Danger Buff because this would have been a good opportunity just to get Rocky Danger Buff. But yeah, still the minifigure, and yeah. So next up, we've got Avatar Nia, and her weapon is a fishing spear. So there is that. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and jump to the mouthpiece, which is a breathing apparatus. So anyways, um, here we have her facial expressions, and her hair is included in the set. Anyways, so here we have her battle ready face, and then her happy face. So anyways, she comes with a um, Lego City torso, um, a scuba suit um, torso, 
where you have the um water symbol right there anyways she also comes with a um standard black um leg piece but anyways yeah so for our next minifigure we've got scott and here we have his weapon which is in a nice um transparent green color so anyways here, here we have his hat and hood which is a new mold from hidden side and has um s and ninjago language so anyways here we have his happy face which he has some triangles on it and this face print kind of looks like it's um a combination of both um jay and lloyd's face prints from the ninjago movie so anyways here we have his um serious face where which he has um camouflage bandana on and he has more triangles anyways here we have his jacket printing the back side of it where he has um some more triangles and he has a dragon surrounding another s and ninjago language here we have his front printing where he has more two more dragons he has a symbol on his shirt on his shirt anyways he has um two black sleeves and two white hands and he also has an l and a j in ninjago language so anyways here, here we have his leg printing which he has more triangles and he also has some knee pads so yeah scott he's a pretty cool minifigure and yeah so for our next minifigure we've got okino and for his weapon he has lloyd's japanese sword in silver so anyways, here is his hairpiece, which he uses the same hairpiece as Unagami with the um, brown hilt piece in it. Anyways, so for his headpiece, he has um, Karloff's headpiece, but here's what Karloff's looks like. But it has an alternate facial expression, which came from the Ninjago movie, where it's like more serious, that's more, like, he's like more angry. So anyways, he also comes with this bag piece, which is, um, you can take this off like that. So anyways, here we have his torso printing, which it's like a white robe design, and there's his back ring, really nothing much. And he also uses um the plain black leg, leg piece. So yeah, Okino, he's a pretty cool minifigure, and yes. So for our next minifigure, we've got Avatar Rumi, and for her weapon, we have a silver katana. So anyways, here we have her um, hair piece. It's the same one, the same rubbery hair piece from Hunted. And we have the um, same headpiece from Hunted. It's a, we have her serious face with the red marker going across her eyes and her angry face. So anyways, here we have our back um, torso printing. But the, tor the torso and the legs, overall, they give you Kill Bill vibes because it's an orange jumpsuit. And it just really, yeah, it just really gives me Kill Bill vibes. But overall, it's a pretty good minifigure and yeah. So for our next minifigure, we've got Richie. And here is his weapon, which uses the game controller hilt piece in black and red. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and jump to the armor pads so anyways he also has um jay's armor pads but in black instead of white and he also has two swords and he also has the health bar piece which is um he has uh, four bars and so anyways here we have his headpiece which is two pieces and he uses nauticon's hair piece um anyways this is a new head mold which is a pink with a black um visor on it anyways so here we have richie's torso which he has a pixelated skull he has like three motion sensors um a pixelated like poison thing anyways he has um four motion sensors on his um legs and he also has some straps on him anyways he has three more motion sensors and he also has a pixelated heart on his back so yeah so next up we've got red visor and for his weapon we, he has a gun so anyways i'm going to go ahead and jump to the armor piece though we've already seen this with um richie so anyways he has the same armor piece as richie with um the black armor pads and then he also has the same health bar piece but instead he has two red swords so anyways here actually i'm going to start off with the visor it's just a um biker helmet with the red visor on it nothing too special and then he also has his um headpiece which on one side is um prime empire logo and on the other side it's like a pixelated angry face um anyways here we have his torso which is kind of like a robe design but it has some red pixels on it and it also has a triangle with a 404 on it and so anyways on his back printing he has um error 404 error 404 symbol again i don't know if it's error error 404 um i keep saying that wrong um, but anyways um it, it just says 404 so yeah but red visor pretty cool minifigure and yeah so now let's go on to the builds so now we have the main builds of the set and i'm first going to get to the kitana so anyways here we have that it's dual molded with the white part and also has a transparent pink um part to it and anyways here we have the stand which you can put the kitana in like that there's a hole in the middle of it you just put it in like that it also has a stick with a question mark on it and the middle piece is a, a pink transparent piece to represent the pink keyblade and also has a clear stand to it which you can remove that but anyways 
here we're going to take a look at the middle um build so anyways it's just really nothing too special as the prime empire logo as a sticker has two red swords and also has some megaphone pieces and there's the back really nothing special so anyways here we have the market shop where you can just put okino right there and anyways we have some blades we have that one blade piece from hunted and also has the um the sword um the new sword piece that they introduced from hunted but now it's in transparent green and also has one of the um the hill pieces anyways on the other side we have this um again and we also have a dagger and there's another dagger right there and there's like a potion a green post potion anyways anyways we have a sticker right here with uh, another dagger on it and then on the back we have some swords we have a red and blue katana and on this side we have um, another green sword piece with um the dragon masters um the dragon bone blade hilt piece with a dragon on it and we also have a golden katana so yeah and then we also have the um hat shop where it says hats on a sticker well on ninjago language with a hat right there and then it says item market so anyways here we have like a selection of like six different hats we have that bamboo hat we have that lego um the classical um blue um space helmet piece which is a rare piece and they brought it back for in the gamers market because they've been using something similar it was a new mold for benny in the lego movie anyways we have a top hat a night hat a night helmet actually and we also have this a sailor's hat and yeah and it also has a 125 credits which in the box art we have zane right there if i can see it if i can just put him right there so yeah he would just go right there pink is zane where you can get him and then like you could use almond 125 credits and there's the back again but yeah so before we end off this review i'm going to take a look at the instruction manual and on the front cover we have the poster of the set and then the qr code to get into the lego life app to where you can scan it and then like um get it on your um, mobile device so anyways we have the bags of the set which there are three bags and so anyways we are going to jump to the back of the manual to get the advertisements and i went a little bit too far but anyways here we have the lego life app advertisement we have the season 12 set poster which we have a j appearing on it twice and is a velocity racer and then on a cyber dragon so anyways we have the um the what's all the sets that are in this wave which is missing the cyber dragon i think think it might be a retail exclusive i know it was at target because i got it there and it might be on walmart.com but anyways we have the um a, a bit a snippet of the poster for the empire temple and then we have the pieces for the set and then we have the um feedback advertisement where you can win sets with ninja force lloyd so anyways we also something nice that they did is that they included extra stickers like with zane's symbol jay's symbol cole's symbol and then like there's a, like other stickers that you can like take and yeah so the gamers market is a really good set i do enjoy it especially you get nine minifigures a nice build you get those for 30 dollars, and it's just really nice and i'm glad that they finally included pink zane i'm still annoyed about the headpiece because it's not zane did not have that like facial design in episode five of the series when pink zane first appeared and we also get Cole's hair piece, which if you did not get the Ninjago CMF series, if you did not pull him in that, or did not get the City Docks and did not um are not getting the um, Thunder Raider from Legacy, this is a good way to get that hair piece. And really, I the only complaint I have about this set is that I wish it was twenty five dollars instead of thirty dollars because it has one more piece in Kai's Mech Jet, and that set is twenty dollars, and this one's thirty. So just a one piece difference i kind of rather it be 25 dollars, especially if all these minifigures but that's the reason that it's like 10 dollars higher with one more piece is because all the minifigures but still i wish it was 25 dollars, but not a big deal that's just like five a five dollar difference but still pretty good set and i really do like this set i think it is a must buy like any ninjago fan will really want to get this especially with the pink zane minifigure but yeah so what do you guys think about the set do you guys enjoy it or do you not tell me in the comments below and yeah so thank you guys for watching this video if you guys did enjoy this video please leave a like please subscribe please follow me on social media the links will be in the description below and i'll see you guys in the next video see you guys later